I'm Steve Wilkerson, and I'm with Jim Saunders, executive editor of the News Service of Florida. Jim, most of the discussion so far about outside political influence, wrongfully influencing congressional redistricting, has focused on Republican consultants. Last week, however, in court proceedings, it was disclosed that redistricting plans submitted by the League of Women Voters and Common Cause uh, had some major influences from Democratic consultants, maybe reaching to national levels. Update us. Well, I think if there's any doubt about the political uh, things that go on with, with redistricting, and this, this kind of seals the deal, uh, the uh, League of Women Voters and Common Cause are two of the plaintiffs in this long-running case about congressional redistricting. There's another set of plaintiffs called the Romo plaintiffs, that's what they're called, they're individual voters. And uh, it was disclosed in some, some court paperwork that, uh, that uh, they had indeed, you know, they have been proposing maps uh, to take the place of what the legislature approved in 2012, and then as an alternative to what the legislature is, or the House and the Senate are proposing now for congressional districts. And it turns out that these, these groups uh, who've been opposing the legislature did have some uh, Democratic uh, influence uh, in the background. Probably the most uh, easiest to understood is this Romo plaintiffs, which again, which again are a, a group of individual plaintiffs. They uh, have disclosed that they consulted with the a Democratic Congressional Campaign Committee, which is in Washington and is basically in charge of electing Democrats to Congress. So. Uh, and, and then the League of Women Voters and Common Cause uh, had consulted or, or at least consulted with a uh, firm that uh, their, one of their uh, founders, I believe it is, had done work for John Kerry's presidential campaign and Barack Obama's presidential campaign. So there's some serious, you know, Democratic ties there. Well, how are the leaders, Republican leaders in the House and the Senate, how are they reacting to all of this? Well, they, they have uh, taken great glee in it, if you will, because, uh, I mean, they have been getting hammered and hammered and hammered for months and months about how Republican operatives drew their maps or helped draw their maps in 2012. I mean, that's been a big part of this litigation that's been going on, you know, for three years. So um, they have, they have uh, called it hypocritical, ironic, whatever you want to call it. They have uh, taken the plaintiffs in this case to task for having their own uh, Democrats in the background. Are they planning, anyone planning any legal action? Uh, is there any legal action available to the House or the Senate Republicans uh, as a result of this disclosure? Well, uh, the House attorneys uh, last week filed a, a motion which, as we sit here today, has not been acted upon. But basically, they want to have discovery uh, of the uh, you know, evidence and so on, what, what was going on behind the scenes and drawing these, these other groups' maps. Discovery in a legal context means, you know, you may be able to depose witnesses, you may be able to get documents, and it, would, and it might give a, a more broad, a full explanation of how big of a role the Democratic uh, groups are, are, you know, played in this. Um, as we sit here today, we're not sure what's going to happen with that. But uh, Judge Terry Lewis is supposed to hold a hearing on Thursday, the 24th, uh, on the whole case because he has to make a recommendation to the Supreme Court by mid-October about what the district should look like. So, I bet uh, he's having a grand old time. You know what? I have a feeling Judge Lewis wishes he was on vacation someplace <laughs> because he is in a no-win situation. Yeah. I mean, this is so politi uh, political, and uh, you know he is trying to apply... Uh, standards that the Supreme Court laid out in a ruling in July. But, you know, the, the Supreme Court ruling, in part at least, was based on some of these recommendations from the League of Women Voters and these other groups. So I'm not sure where that leaves them at this point.